Hi lovely booktubers and Debs. This is Raina Reed's stuff. Welcome or welcome back. Uh, I'm here in the bookshop. I'm doing a batch of videos today because I'm busy during the week so I'm thinking this one will go out on Tuesday. And this one I am tentatively calling why I'm having to do the Read What You Own Challenge again. Now for those of you who don't know the Read What You Own Challenge uh, had a load of co-hosts, but it was set up by Criminoli, Ollie at Criminoli. Um, and the aim is to read books that you own before you buy any more. Now, there were several tiers. I opted to do the top tier, which was 100 books before I bought any more. And I did it. It was fine. It started on November the 6th last year. I managed to finish by February the 18th and immediately ordered myself some books. What I thought I would do, though, is I would write down, which is something I've never done before, I would write down all the books, physical books, that I buy during the year. Now, please bear in mind, I only count physical books for my Read What You Own Challenge. And so I thought what I would do is I would write, all to, write down all of the books that I bought. I would check off when I had read them. And the books that remained, or the number of books that remained, would be the number of books that I set myself for this year's Read What You Own Challenge made perfect sense to me. I thought it was a way of controlling the sheer volume of physical books that I buy. So I got a bit behind with filling in the books that I bought. And I caught up at the weekend. I write them. This is my, this is my book journal. And I'm writing them at the back. So these are all the books, and there's a little gold dot by them if I've read them. These are more books, and I've started on book on page three. Each of these pages fits 18 books on it, and other than one crossing out, because I'd listed the book twice, basically. I have purchased 74 books since February the 18th. It's now, well, it will be May the 14th when this goes out. It's less than three months. Of those 74 books, I have read 18. It's about 20%. No, it's not. It's about 25%. But that still leaves me already... Five books to read for the Read What You Own Challenge, and we're only in May. Now, in my defence, a number of these books I have bought for events that are coming up soon. So, for example, I bought a job lot of Louis L'Amour books for June on the Range. I bought eight different Star Trek books for The Wrath of Summer. Um, I bought lots of other things. But unless I do something about it now, the number of books I'm going to have to read for the Read What You Own Challenge is going to be enormous. It'll be like Michael K. Vaughan having to read 500 books. And I'm not prepared to do that 
without buying any extras. So, from now, at least until the end of July, hopefully sooner, I will not be buying any more books until I've read at least, or what do you think's fair, at least 50% of these? I'd like to get it down even more. I'd like to read two thirds of them before before I buy any more. See that hopefully I can do that during June and July when many of these events are taking place because there are books that I've bought specifically for them and maybe clear a few more. <clears throat> I'd less like to have somewhere in the 20s, I think, before August. But then you see Gog August happens, and then maybe some essential purchasing needed for that. But from now, until I've read up to 50 books, so that gives me another 32 to read, no more book buying. No more book buying. In an emergency, I can buy an ebook because the difference between the physical books and the ebooks is that the ebooks don't stare at me from the shelf saying, You bought me, why haven't you read me? Hopefully, that's doable because I don't want to be reading 100 books again for this year's Read What You Own Challenge because come Christmas, I started getting twitchy last year. And then when everybody started doing their reviews of the year and the best books they'd read and the things they were looking forward to, I got even more twitchy. So, from now, until I've read at least 50 of the 70, what did I say, 73? No, 74 books that I've read, uh, that I've bought. No more book buying for me. I think that's a sensible idea. I have to control this somehow. I'm really running out of room. That's it for me for today. Um, I just thought I would let you know that the no book buying is on again. I am going to read what I own. Have a lovely day. I hope you're reading fabulous stuff and I shall speak to you again very soon tomorrow actually because I'm just about to do another video which will be scheduled for Wednesday and it's an announcement video so give it a look. Thanks for popping by. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.